Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today we are tackling a mini makeover. This series is all about making small but impactful changes to tiny corners of your home that maybe have been left forgotten. Hey. It's like just chaotic. It's so chaotic. Are you guys ready? So today we are making over my employee Alana's closet virtually. If you guys missed the episode where I made over Alana's entire studio apartment, top to bottom, make sure you check that video out. It will be linked up here. Before we jump into today's video, I wanted to talk about this week's sponsor, Function of Beauty. You guys have probably heard me talk about them before and that is because this is the only hair care I use and love. If you don't already know, Function of Beauty is a 100% customizable hair care brand, never uses parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins. It's also 100% vegan and cruelty free. What I love about Function of Beauty is that it is completely customizable. So you take a short quiz and enter your hair goals. There's 18 goals to choose from, so you can change it up with every bottle. I always pick hydrate, lengthen, and anti-frizz. And I honestly feel like my hair has grown so much since I've started using this product. I also love how you can put your name on the bottle. You can choose what color you want. I I always love picking colors that match back to my bathroom. Like how fun. Every bottle comes with cute little stickers that you can put on. And I just think they're like such a cute addition to your shower, but the best part is it actually works for your hair. So it looks cute, but also works. If you guys want to try out Function of Beauty for yourselves, make sure you use my link in the description box below for 20% off. Okay, let's get into this closet makeover. So I was not planning on doing this video virtually. I love organizing and I really wanted to get into Alana's space and make her closet over myself. But here in Toronto, we are on a very strict lockdown. So what I've done is I've sent all the product Alana needs to make over her closet. I've sent her a very detailed list of instructions and we're gonna be checking in throughout the day just to see how she's getting on, but she's going to do it completely herself. Hi everyone, just getting started with the closet makeover. This this is what it's looking like right now. It's a huge mess, don't judge me. I live with my partner, so this side is mine and this side is his. We have a bunch of clothes in here and just use the top up here for like seasonal stuff and Jordan puts some keepsakes in these shoe boxes. Then down below are our laundry hampers, luggage, stuff like that. This is pretty typical for a studio apartment. It's a good size closet, but in small apartments, especially in you know cities like here in Toronto, your closet needs to do more than one thing. You know, it needs to work super hard for you. So I am going to give Alana solutions to not only make this look pretty, but make it feel organized and make sure everything has a place. So the first thing Alana's doing is taking everything out of the closet. And whenever you guys are gonna start tackling a kind of overwhelming organizational project, I always say take everything out so you can see everything in front of you and you can kind of start fresh. It's also a great opportunity to take stock of what you have and purge anything that you don't need anymore. Often closets, especially in small spaces, are just filled with things that we never look at. You know, we never touch them and it's like, why do we even own them in the first place? So taking everything out is just a way for you to see just how much stuff you actually have. I will always encourage you to donate anything you can. I know that right now making donations in some cities is more difficult because of COVID. So what I've been doing is just starting a big kind of like Ikea bag just to put all of my donations in one place. And then when donation centers open up again, it'll be easy for me to just ship it all off to them. Okay, so now that Alana has emptied her entire closet, there's stuff everywhere, I'm going to call her, check in, and see how she's doing. I hope she's not too overwhelmed. Hello. Hi. Oh my gosh, the cat's already in the closet. <laughs> like, what's yeah. happening? She's wasting no time checking it all out. Also, the closet looks so much smaller with everything out. Right? I know. Like, I don't know how you fit all that stuff in there before. I'm so excited to get it all nice and tidy. Can I see how much stuff there is? Okay. <laughs> I was going to say it's not that much, but like, yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff. 
<laughs> There's a lot of stuff. The next step is going to be organizing everything into those under the bed storage bins that I got you. You and I both know these are so good when it comes to storing things that you don't need access to all the time. We have way too much in this closet, so I'm gonna see what I can redistribute into those under bed storage boxes and then what I can just get rid of that we don't need anymore. Yay, I'm excited for you. I really wish I was there. <laughs> Organizing is like one of my favorite things. <laughs> Are you feeling like nervous? <laughs> <I'm excited. Hello. Yeah. laughs> and then after you organize that, give me a call and we will talk about the wallpaper. I'm so excited to see the wallpaper. Good luck, have fun organizing, and I will talk to you in a bit. All right, talk to you soon. Okay, starting with the first under bed storage box. Next one, I think I'm gonna put all my summer clothes. This I won't be needing for a few more months, so don't need access to and it can stay under my bed for a while. Under bed storage products are so great for small spaces and I feel like this is a product that often gets overlooked. People don't really think, oh yeah, I can store stuff under my bed. So I've provided Alana with a few under bed storage solutions and this is just gonna be a place where she puts all of those off season items, the things she doesn't need to reach for often and that way you're saving valuable closet square footage and just tucking the things that you don't need to access all the time under your bed. I found that there's so many different materials, different price points for under bed storage, and just like the fabric ones that zip up are super inexpensive and they work really awesome. But there's also really beautiful decorative ones. So if your bed is really high and you want it to look kind of nice under there, you can definitely find some like felted, rattan woven ones. So there's tons of options to choose from and you will be amazed at all the stuff you can store in them. I think it's a really, really great solution. When I was digging through my old backpacks, I, um, I found one of Alexandra's vlog cam batteries. Sorry, Alexandra. Hey. Are you done? I'm hoping two will fit lengthwise so we could get all four under. Oh wow, it like just fits, that's amazing. Now that I know that both of them fit, I'm gonna continue filling the other two. We're gonna need you out of there. <sighs> Say hi. Hi. Also, I'm really bad at folding clothes, so if they don't look like neatly folded, I don't know what to tell you. It's time for the wallpaper. To be honest, I'm pretty terrified because I feel like it's best to do wallpaper like peel and stick backsplashes with two people, but I believe in myself. Peel and stick wallpaper is such a great solution to decorating your closet because I feel like a bold pattern has such a high impact in a small space. Plus it's really cost effective because you're working with a small amount of square footage. I have seen pictures of walk-in closets that are completely wallpapered and these are so swoon worthy. So that's kind of the look I'm going for, but in Alana's really tiny studio apartment closet. There's a little sneak peek at the pattern. I think it's gonna look really good. I went with this squiggle wallpaper. I wanted to find something a little bit gender neutral because it is Jordan, Alana's boyfriend's closet as well. And I've actually used this wallpaper before in a Make My Space Work episode. It's by Bobby Burke from Queer Eye. And I love how bold and kind of like retro feeling it is. But I'm gonna start with above the shelf. There's about like 29 inches of space from the ceiling to the top of the shelf. So I just cut maybe like 30, 31 inches worth of the peel and stick wallpaper. And then any extra, I'm just gonna exacto on the shelf. Peel and stick wallpaper is completely renter friendly and can be removed without leaving any residue behind. So it's a great option if you want to add color and pattern, but don't want to commit. Okay, this is the first piece. Looks pretty good. I'm surprised how easy that was, and I realized that I can do it. As I said, there's a little bit extra there, so I'm just gonna take an X-Acto knife and cut it off. Easy piece. When I cut the second panel, it didn't line up properly, so I'm gonna have to cut a little strip and add it there, which I think is not a big deal because there are gonna be baskets there anyways. For this next panel, I actually measured out um, where it's gonna line up so I don't just cut the wrong size again like last time. The walls have a little bit of bumps on them, so you might notice that there. 
For the most part, it's pretty smooth. It's looking good so far. Jordan found a really good solution when doing a corner. So this wallpaper panel didn't fully hit the corner there. So this one here is going to have to go into the corner and fold a little. What we did on, on this side here was work from the corner and out, but this time Jordan's gonna stick it this side and work this way, which makes a lot more sense. <gasps> it looks so good! Doesn't it? Do you like it? It's so cool. It's just like a fun surprise. Like every time you open your closet, it's just gonna look so fun. I know, I can't wait to get everything else in there to see the final, final product. Was it hard? The corners were pretty hard and um, there are some bumps on the wall, but I think that the pattern of the wallpaper is so busy that like you don't even really notice any imperfections. I also feel like if you're a wallpaper newbie, wallpapering the inside of a closet is the perfect place to start because there's gonna be stuff covering it, you know? Yeah. It's just meant to like peek through. Exactly. That's so true. Okay, so you're ready to keep organizing? Yes, ma'am. Let me know when you're done and then we'll hop on a call. I can't wait to see it all done. Me too. My kind of go-to tip whenever I'm organizing any closet or drawer is to make sure that everything has a place, whether that's like an acrylic organizer, a utensil organizer, or in this case, baskets. Baskets are a game changer pretty much everywhere in your apartment, but especially in closets. They always have that shelf that just leaves like so much room above it and I find like it's kind of wasted space. So putting a tall basket in that stores a lot, hides clutter and looks cute is such a great solution. We got these baskets from Ikea and I sent Alana little tags. These were from the dollar store, they cost me a dollar. They come with little twine so that way she can write a label so she knows exactly what's in each basket. This is also a key step because if you're not using clear bins or baskets to organize, you're not gonna know what's in the baskets. You wanna be able to at least see what's inside or know what's inside. So that's where these tags come in super handy. So now that Alana's got her baskets up on that shelf, it's time to get all of her clothing back in the closet. And a really great space savings tip is to use velvet hangers. They're usually anti-slip, so your garments aren't gonna slip off them easily, and they are really thin, so you can fit a ton of items in your closet and you don't have to worry about like clunky hangers taking up space. I bought Jordan one color and Alana another color. Having a different color hanger for each person helps differentiate whose clothing is whose and inject some color into this closet. And there's no mistaking. That's Alana's side, <laughs> that's Jordan's side. Another great hack I found online is putting vertical organizer in the middle. So often you can find these made out of canvas and they hang on the clothing rack. And I've saw people divide up space that way. We didn't need this in Alana's closet because she has a shoe closet in her entryway, but thought I would throw that tip out there because I think it's a good one. So the closet's almost done. Now it's time for all of those finishing touches. So before Alana and Jordan had separate laundry hampers and I found like it was just crowded the space it did look super cohesive so I got them a brand new joint laundry hamper you can take the bags out separately so if Alana is doing her laundry without Jordan's laundry she can just take out her bag and bring it to the washing machine which I think is super handy and I feel like in a small space you just want to corral those things that you need don't overlook the style when it comes to these items they need to be functional but they can also be beautiful as well so Alana's just keeping a few little accessories in these grid baskets along the inside of the door. You can put a shoe rack that goes over the door. There's hooks that you can buy. The possibilities are truly endless when it comes to over door storage. This is not a piece of the closet you should be overlooking. Hi, Alana. Hi. I'm so excited to see your closet. How does it feel? Oh my God, it's so nice and organized. I feel like this video is gonna help so many people too because first of all, it's like you did it by yourself and I feel like <laughs> if you can do it, if I can do it, they can do it. Let's take a look at what your closet looked like before. A little, a little overflowing, but like also totally relatable when you live in a small space, a studio, a one bedroom, a tiny apartment. It's like your closets need to work super hard for you. Okay, one. <laughs> Two, three. <gasps> it looks 
so good. Oh my God, it doesn't even look like the same closet. I know, right? <laughs> Elena, this is so dreamy. I love it. What a nice surprise to like open your closet doors and see this every day. Yeah. Are you just like lying in bed with your closet doors open? Yeah. <laughs> I think the standout part is the wallpaper. It's just so bold and fun. before like it was like bursting right yeah yeah there's like no room for anything all the stuff that we didn't need to be seeing every day is just tucked under the bed and away and there's so much more room to put anything you want for sure i love it who knew a closet could look so beautiful <laughs> And there you guys have it, a complete closet makeover and overhaul. I really hope that this gave you some ideas of how to turn your closet into not only a functional, but also a really cute and beautiful space. Let me know in the comments down below what you struggle most with when it comes to organizing your closet in your tiny space. Thank you again to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's episode. Make sure you guys use my code. It's in the description box for 20% off your purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.